Time for a coffee. Had to stop for a bite to eat. A protein bar I had this morning for breakfast is, uh, I think it's out of my system by now. Got a bit of a breeze and the rain is picking up here as well. It's uh, not raining, but it's pecking. So hopefully it stays that way because I'm not really in the mood to get wet. The unhealthiest portion of, uh, of this snack is my Boston cream. But the last time I went with just a plain old fashioned donut. So I'm making up for it now with the Boston cream. I love it. I mean, look how delicious they look. So in case you're not too familiar with where I am, I'm actually in Clarenville right now. I am uh, figured I might as well tell you where I'm going since you're tagging along watching. I'm on my way to Grand Falls, Windsor right now. I'm going to stay in the Beothic Family Campground for the night. And uh, while I'm there, my daughter and her boyfriend are going to come over for a little visit to say hi. So I'm looking forward to that. And tomorrow morning, I'm uh, going to be uh, continuing on up to Bay Vert, Fleur de Lis, and uh, La Cie. I'm going up there because there's a veteran friend of mine who's going to be home on summer vacation. And uh, I served with him about 20 years ago or so. And uh, going up to catch up, that's basically what's going to happen. It's going up to hang out and just... Uh, Spend a few hours with them, and then uh, Friday morning I'll head back to St. John's, which I'm not really looking forward to because I hate traffic, and I know what the traffic's going to be like Friday, going from Grand Falls or from La Cie all the way to St. John's. I think it's about a six-hour ride, roughly, so um, I'm not overly looking forward to that. <clears throat> but in the meantime, coffee's good, so I'm going to sit back and enjoy this while I'm waiting.
Well, I made it. Now let's see if we can figure out a campground or a campsite. Alright, I think the one back there is going to be a good spot. Number 51 by the looks of it. So we got people on this end. Down on my end, no people. Well, I'm all parked. This is the site I chose. Now, figure out where I'm going to put my tent. Probably over that way, closer to the picnic table, I'd say. And away from any sparks. So we'll be having a fire tonight. I have three bundles of firewood coming. It's going to be perfect. So the tent that I have is a uh, trekking pole tent. Use your trekking poles instead of uh, 
tent poles. First thing you got to do is you got to square it off, which is what I got done. And now you put these inside. So you got these little grommets there that you put the end of your tent in. And then you just rise it up. So I just had a nice visit with my daughter. She come and she hung out with me for a couple hours. It was uh, it was nice to see her again. I see her a couple weeks ago, but it's never enough. I always wish to see her more than I actually do. So I'm grateful for this visit. Anyway, I'm going to show you the campground that I'm in. I think I already did, but now I'm started. Now I got it set up a bit. There's the kitchen dining area. It's a bit of a mess. A little bit disorganized. Again, my transportation. Airing out my jeans. I'm sitting down on them all day. There's my Durston tent. This is my second night to sleep in it. And hopefully it'll be just as good as the first night. And over this way, I am ready. Got my chair, got my little table, three bags of wood, and a fire pit. These sticks right here on top are actually from Fox Cove. And I got a little bit of bark. I'm gonna go get some more bark here now.
All right, it's all ready to go. Got my base layer laid down there. Some wood with some birch bark and some twigs or splits. And I got them lined up from smallest to biggest. So hopefully that's good enough to get it going. Because if it doesn't, then I'm screwed. Well, before supper, I must head up and check out the washroom facilities. It is that time. I don't think I told you the name of this campground. This is the Beothic Family Campground. It's in Grand Falls, Windsor. Yeah, so I figured I'd let you know that part. So this evening for supper, this is what I'm having. Spicy sausage bolognese. I bet it's gonna taste good. So how do you cook these? Open pouch, remove oxygen absorber, prepare and pouch or other suitable container. Add one and three quarter cups of water to the ingredients. Stir thoroughly and let stand for, well, I gotta let it stand for 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. All right, let's go, let's get this done. Got the water ready. Now it's the waiting game. I'm going to give her a good boil. Now I got to add water to it. Add the water. Stir the water. Sure, if this requires a spoon or a fork. I'll go with my fork. Stir it up for a bit. Timer. Here's my phone in my pocket. <clears throat> hey Google, set timer for 10 minutes. Here we go. Now we gotta wait. What am I going to do for 10 minutes? <laughs> I know. Spinach. That's a healthy vegetable, right? 
I'll eat my greens before I eat my uh, sausage. I actually have one person uh, comment on a couple videos ago. He said uh, that I smoke too much of this. And my response to him was, this is my prescription. This is my medicine. It was prescribed to me. It helps me with my post-traumatic stress disorder. It helps me with my pain. It helps me with anxiety in general. And at times it helps with depression. So. I'm not going to stop because somebody is, uh, I don't know, not okay or comfortable with a bit of weed. See, it's nice now that all those quads stopped. I'm right next to the railway. And, of course, the railway is a common thoroughfare for quads, ATVs, side-by-sides, that kind of thing. But there's a group of young kids on their ATVs that have been going back and forth there for like two hours straight. And it was, uh, it was a bit overwhelming, actually. Like you hear that, that's a Trans-Canada Highway. So I'm too close to that. Next time I pick a park or a campsite, I'm going to try to pick something a little further in from the main road because this is noisy. But it's a good thing I brought, I don't know if I got them in this. Yes, they are. I brought this, I'll show you. This is what's going to make me look so sexy in my sleepy time. I got this. <laughs> And I got headphones, not headphones, but earplugs. So uh, between two of it, I should be able to cut out some of the noise and some of the uh, early morning brightness. All right, let's see what this is like. pretty good it's tasty reminds me uh, almost like those uh, like a more fancier version of those chef boyardee raviolis you'd eat as a kid I don't know some of you probably still eat them as adults too I don't know but uh, that's what it kind of reminds me of but at a better level at a higher level of taste and quality yep I'm gonna have some more well, I got no choice now All right, I'm gonna go eat this. Gotta get some more water. Well, I gotta say that meal was actually pretty good. I'm full, I'm good now. So I'm going to work on getting this fire going. Now we'll see how that turns out. Ready to go. No, doesn't look like it's going to stay lit, or is it?
Maybe she's catching. It's looking promising. So far, so good. Well, I think that's safe to say that I got it first try. Good job, Jason. Alright, the fire is going better. As you can see, slowly adding to it, slowly building it up. I'm not going to make it too big anyway. Don't want to have sparks all over the place even if the fire ban is lifted. But anyway, speaking of lifted, watch what I got to lift out of this thing. Oh my god. It's gonna be something. Good I got. Contrabando again. And this one's got a Santa hat on him. This one here, Smuggler's Cove. It's from the Bacalo Trail Brewery. Yeah, Bacalo Trail Brew Brewing Company right there. Yeah, this is going to be good. Can't wait. Here we go. Oh. Control band done it again. Man. This is the best for when you're sitting around a fire. I'm not bullshitting you. It's got that just enough lime to uh, to give it that little extra flavor. It's, uh, yeah, it's deadly. Anyway, get out and get yourself one. They're, uh, you can get them at various liquor stores. And you can also get them at Smuggler's Cove as well if you're looking for them. Not sure if you can actually go up to the back of Little Trail Brewing Company and get them up there or not. It's possible. But either way, I got one and it's good. <clears throat> actually, a little story about this can. Me and a few other riders went down to Smuggler's Cove a few days ago just for a bite to eat. And, uh,. <clears throat> The lady that works there, she uh, came over and laid two cans of uh, contrabando on the table next to me. She said, "Here you go for your next uh, camping trip," and it was this one with the Christmas uh, hat on, and uh, the other one she gave me, which uh, you'll see in another video down the road. It's uh, it's an image or a painting or a de design of uh, Porta Grave. You know how in the w winter months or during Christmas time. They uh, decorate all the boats full of Christmas lights. That's what's on the other can. So uh, next time I go camping, you'll see the other one with the Christmas decorations. But for now, you will have to settle for Santa hat. Looks pretty cool.
Have you ever heard of the term anticipatory anxiety? I'm a master at that. Every single thing that I put on my calendar or plan, it causes me a ton of anxiety. Like this trip, for example, I had this plan for a few weeks, but as I got closer, I didn't want to do it anymore. And in reality, I really don't want to be out here right now. I'd sooner be home. That's how I've been feeling. And, uh, and it's weird because I know that these are great experiences. I'm out here right now in front of a huge fire. Got to spend time with my daughter. Tomorrow I'll get to see a couple veteran friends. I mean, what's not to uh, like or enjoy about that? But even that, like for example, I was planning on staying in salvage for a night and the forecast changed and it turned to rain. And I was so relieved over that that it was weird it was like a load lifted off me and this even though this is a trip that I planned because it's something I wanted to do and I don't understand why even the things I want to do can cause me this much anxiety it's crazy like I'm going to see two veterans tomorrow that I worked with that I served with years ago nothing to be nervous or, or anxious about but yet I'm overwhelmed with anxiety over it. Like I'm at the point now where I'm debating on getting up tomorrow morning and just uh, heading east again instead of uh, heading north up to La Sea. But we'll see how things go in the morning. Because uh, the anxiety of bailing is also overwhelming. So there's the anxiety of, of, of attending, of uh, showing up, and there's the anxiety of ditching them either way it's a lose-lose for me but I think if I go in the long term I will definitely be more content and happy that I did that instead so anyway despite all the anxiety despite all the worries in the back of my head about this or that happening or whatever it might be I'm I'm here I came out I did it anyway and um, my feet are right nice and toasty from it because I'm just a couple feet away from that fire and it's uh, it's burning pretty hot right now. So there's a positive a fire. Nice one too. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy the fire for a little bit and uh, try to work off the anticipatory anxiety. Another motorcycle arrived, as you can tell, a Harley. <laughs> There's also a group here of uh, ATV riders as well. I presume that they're making their way across the province on the railway, because there's four of them, I believe, here. Four uh, side-by-sides. And uh, it's one of those things I would like to do someday, but I don't think it's going to happen. Well, it's almost 10.30. I think I'm going to get ready and go to bed. And uh, that uh, the guy that was uh, riding that Harley came over and had a chat with me. Nice guy. He's uh, been traveling for a while now. He's here from Ontario. So uh, he's just making his way across the island there now. But anyway, it is... Uh, Going on 10.30, I'm going to crawl into bed here now and get some Netflix on the go, I think. This is my goodie bag. Has my uh, cannabis in there. My gummies, which I already had. And my other regular medications that I gotta take. Gotta take three pills tonight. Two are for sleep. 
And one is for anxiety, I think. Anxiety or depression. One or the other. I'm not sure which one it is. Flip a coin. Who cares? They taste the same, right? Alright. There's my three little pills. Two blue ones. Not the good kind. It's hard to pinch those off. And a white one. This is complicated. Like I don't understand how it's so difficult to take a pill out of a bag. You're still watching me, aren't you? <laughs> that's the right one. Yeah, that's the bigger one. All right, finally. That was a workout. Get my water ready because if those Zappa clones start to dissolve either a little bit at all, it's really hard on the tongue. It leaves a horrible aftertaste for like an hour later. <clears throat> All right. I'm thirsty, but I don't want to drink too much because I don't want to have to get up to pee. I don't think it'll matter. Usually, usually you got to get up anyway. Well, I'm going to get comfortable now. Get rid of my clothing and throw on my quilt. So yes, I'm shutting off the camera for this part. You don't need to see this. Call mom. Calling mom. Get out, scream! Get out! All right, that's better on my eyes. You might not be able to see me as well, but Good. at least I'm not blinded. Anyway, I am watching a couple episodes of The Bear on Disney. That's what I'm doing right now. And that's what I'm going to continue doing for another half an hour or so until my medications all kick in and knock me out because that's what usually happens. So anyway, I figured I'd jump in and say goodnight before I get all messed up and start rambling on about nonsense again. I yeah, I don't really want to do that tonight. <laughs> I'm just going to go and watch the bear. Anyway, good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. I made it through the night. Slept pretty good, I think. Looking at my reflection here, it looks like I got... Anyway. Slept all right. Had to get up once to pee, but that's it. Anyway, time to get dressed and get out of this little cocoon. Coffee water's going. Now, what did I do with my uh, grub bag? Is it in here? Priorities. Gotta get the coffee going before I get my food going. I'm the last one here, I think. All the ATV crowd, they all just left about five minutes ago. The Harley guy that I was chatting with last night, he left about five minutes ago. I didn't wake up until 8.40. That was actually pretty good for here. It's actually pretty good for home. <laughs> I did toss and turn a bit, but nothing too, uh, nothing too annoying.
All right, coffee is up. One down. Lay that cup over there. Now I gotta get my breakfast on the go. Maple and brown sugar. It's, it's deadly. I'll just do one pack. Make sure I don't put too much water in, then I'll have to add the second pack. Let's see how this goes. It looks good. Can't wait to try it. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute though. Let it soak. Having breakfast with all my friends. The ones I like anyway, right? So now I'm a little anxious. Because I'm going into a community where somebody knows me. <laughs> one thing going through a community and just uh, filming it and getting some drone clips but uh, when uh, there's people there that know you and they see you doing it it makes me feel awkward and uncomfortable I get paranoid very easily but it should be a good day I get to see two veteran friends that's what I got to focus on All the rest is just bullshit, really. So after I'm done breakfast and clean up, I'm going to be making my way to Bayvert first. I look at that place. Never been there. And uh, then I'm going to head to Fleur de Lis, which is just uh, northwest of there. Haven't been there before either. And then from there back to La Cie. So it should be uh, it's about two and a half hours of riding in total. But uh, it should take me a good five hours or so to do all that. Especially if I'm stopping and taking videos. One thing I never did yesterday or today so far is my traditional taste test. You're not getting away with it. It's good coffee. I don't, don't usually like instant coffee, but the, the uh, Tim Hortons Tim Tim Hortons Tim Tim Hortons coffee is uh, actually pretty tasty. All packed up, ready to go on my way to my next destination. That was nice. Whoever comes here next got a free bundle of firewood because I had three and that was too many. I did manage to get two burnt. Two bags is the limit, but there were three for 20. I couldn't pass it up. It was uh, eight bucks each or three for 20. So I went with the three, just in case. Anyway, time to get on the road.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since you heard from me. We are now in Fleur de Lis. Fleur de Lis. <laughs> I think that's how you spell it. A little war memorial there. Pretty little area. Come back here and get the drone up. What's up this way? Might as well come up here before I turn around. And there's more flirtily. Scenic little area. I think I'm going to turn around right here. Actually, I got no choice but to turn around right here and head back and get the drone up. So I stopped in Bayvert for a little while, but I didn't, uh, I didn't bother going around exploring there. I uh, had a coffee, a bit of cheesecake, filled up my gas, and, uh, and I just came on here to uh, Fleur de Lis. I mean, just look at this beautiful area. I almost don't even need a drone. <laughs> I'm going to pull in right here.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is La Cie. Never ever been here. Look at this view. Wow. It's amazing. Now, to track down my buddy. I have no idea where he lives. To do a little tour before I uh, do some uh, door knocking. This looks like there's going to be a party down by the beach. Maybe that's where we're headed tonight. We'll see. Well, I take it this is a uh, turnaround. Island Cove Park. All right, I'm going to pull over here now, I think. Maybe not. I'm going to go on the other side of the harbor, over to me where those boats are. I see boats. i got to go see them. And according to the drop pin that uh, my buddy gave me, it's over on that side where his brother lives. Welcome back, Jets.
Gee, I wonder. It's uh, La Silla fishing community. <laughs> it's a lot of boats in one community. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> That's a lot of boats. All right, turn around here. All right, I'm gonna pull in here and call my buddy.
River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're. It's been a long day. I'll explain later. Well, as you can see, I'm in my tent getting ready to go to sleep. So what happened today? Well, I got here in La Cie, met up with my couple veteran buddies, and we hung out this evening. I had my first ever fish and brews. I hate fish, and I loved it. It was good. But anyway, yeah, uh, so that's what I've been doing. We've been touring around a bit, looking around, catching the sights. Lovely sunset this evening. So that's where I've been. Anyway, I'm going to hang out here for a bit. Actually, I am staying here the rest of the night, so I don't know what I'm talking about there. I'm, uh, I'm going to watch another episode of Bear and fall asleep. So I hope you enjoyed some of the scenes on the ride today. I certainly did. And uh, I'll see you again in the morning. Well, it's nice to see you again. Sorry I didn't get to see too much of you last night, but I was busy socializing and hanging out with, uh, with uh, my two veteran buddies and, uh, and their wife. And the dogs, of course. The dogs are pretty amazing. Sorry. So yeah, last night I pitched my tent in, uh, in the, one of the guy's backyards. It was a good sleep. It was uh, nice and relaxing, actually. We shut down a bit early. We weren't up too late or anything like that. So there wasn't really much to show anyway, other than me uh, watching some Netflix in the tent. <laughs> But I'm uh, all caffeinated, got a couple of coffees in me, so uh, now I'm ready for this six and a half hour ride back to St. John's, because that's how long this is going to take. And uh, I wish I could just go snap my fingers and be back there, but that's it. I'm going to be stuck on the road for the next six and a half hours. So sit back, the ride's not over yet, you might see some more sights and scenes.
Well, as you can tell by the traffic, I'm back in St. John's now. I successfully made it from La C all the way over here. Don't trust that car. Never trust cars in that spot. They usually just swerve right over. So it's been a good couple days. Got to go to uh, visit Bay Vert, got to visit Fleur de Lis, got to visit Lossie. Plus, I stayed at that nice campground, the Beothic family campground in uh, Grand Falls, Windsor. So, for the most part, it was pretty good. I got a good night's sleep both nights, for the most part. <laughs> yes, everything's for the most part. But I did have my first feed of fish and brews at uh, Trevor's uh, brother's house. His wife cooked up, and what a feed that was. I hate fish, but yet I managed to, uh, to eat a good bowl of that stuff. And uh, had a good time in Lussie as well. Was, that's why you didn't see a lot of videos, because I spent most of the time just hanging out with my friends, and I didn't want the camera going. And uh, they took me up, get me that, uh, up to that lookout where that nice, beautiful sunset was. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed some of the scenery and some of the video besides the scenery. I'm gonna sign off here now. I'm just about home and I don't think I need to drag you along any further. So uh, anyway, once again, thanks for watching and I hope you have yourselves an amazing weekend.